What's up, guys? It's Lou from Unbox Therapy, and we are continuing the series here, the little mini series on the Razer Edge gaming tablet. If you guys caught the last video, then you know I already featured the tablet portion. This part of the video series is dedicated to the gaming controller, which is a very special element and truly turns this tablet into something very unique. Now, if you didn't catch that last video, I will link it in the annotations as well as in the video responses so you can go check it out. But rest assured, I will be recapping everything in one finale video where I'm going to do a little mini review. I know I don't usually do them, but I will be doing a mini review in the finale video going over the gaming controller, the tablet, as well as the multimedia dock. So this video here dedicated to the controller and the dock. Let's talk about the controller first. As you can see, it is huge. It is large, but that's because it has to fit the tablet inside of it. Now, the materials in use here are all very high quality. In fact, the controller is actually pretty heavy. And once you get the tablet into it, it gets fairly substantial, to say the least. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'd rather have high quality materials and have the thing weigh a little bit more than have cheap plastic or something like that. So you have a lot of aluminum in use here. Uh, insert and removing the tablet is really easy to do so you could do that while you're on the go if you you know need to adjust and just start using the tablet something to mention here is that this controller has an extended battery which is capable of almost doubling the battery life I believe so you've got an extended battery in here so that when you're gaming or whatever you're using those extra system resources you've actually got a little bit more power in the controller itself to do so the controller, though, is not all that cheap. This is about 250 bucks. If you want to check out exact pricing and availability, you can do so down in the description. I'll link all the components to the Razer Edge system down there. You have pretty nice triggers on here, so you can actually use this controller for some first-person shooters or racing games. I've actually used it with some first-person shooters myself through Steam. I'll be showing you a little bit more of that as the video progresses. And you can, of course, map all of these buttons to their relative buttons on the keyboard so that you can get a real full-featured gaming experience on a rather unusual platform. All the buttons that are on the actual tablet are remapped to the outside of the controller attachment so that you still have access to things like volume, your power button, you know, the speaker still have the ability to play through. And you've also got uh, cutouts for not only the headphone jack, but also for the vents because this thing does produce a little bit of heat, as I mentioned before. But that's to be expected considering the fact that this is a powerhouse, at least in tablet standards, by tablet standards, in the tablet world, so to speak. So anyways, I'll go ahead here and show you guys how to insert the tablet in a moment, as well as give you a little bit of gameplay. That's only fair. But as I mentioned before, this is just the feature video on this particular component. I will be doing a full recap shortly. So if you aren't subscribed yet, now is the time to do so and be on the lookout for my actual thoughts after using this device for a more extended period of time. I wanted to give myself a about a week with it before giving my impressions. I don't normally do reviews, but in this case, I wanted to since this is just such a unique device that so few people are actually going to have the opportunity to play with. So inserting the tablet is actually really easy to do. There's this little port on the bottom, which you can eject by pressing on these two little levers. It'll pop out the bottom portion. I'll show you here in a moment. So as you pull away on these two little corresponding levers, that middle portion will pop down and allow for you to go ahead and insert the tablet. Now, after inserting the tablet, you'll have to sort of, you know, maneuver the uh, connector, the proprietary connector back inside. But I mean, that's all pretty damn simple to do. Like I said, just put the tablet in, you know, you put the top edge in first and then click the bottom up and you are good to go. So anyways, let's go ahead and check out the tablet. It's pretty straightforward, just like any Windows 8 tablet when you're in the that sort of menu. But where this thing really shines is when you start to play some games. So in this case, I went ahead and mapped the controls for Counter-Strike Global Offensive from the Steam library. It takes a little while to get used to, but after a bit, you sort of just feel like you're gaming on a console, I guess. Uh, in this case, your left thumbstick just controls your movement, your right thumbstick, your perspective. You got your triggers for shooting, and you can map everything else the way you like it. You can see there, I'm not doing so great, so give yourself a little bit of time to get over you know, the learning curve so you can actually become decent playing PC games with a controller 
interface. Now this works completely well as a regular tablet. In fact, the web browser is really fast and the touch interface is one of the best I've ever used. So navigating to your favorite websites is very easy to do. In this case, I actually navigated to the brand new unboxtherapy.com. If you guys haven't visited it yet, do it now. There's actually some merchandise you guys can buy up there. Go ahead and check it out regardless. Unboxtherapy.com, I'll link it down below. So now is the point at which we take a closer look at the multimedia dock. This is one more accessory that lives in the Razer Edge family. This is going to allow for you to connect your device to your television or other HDMI enabled screen so you can output, you know, full HD gaming to a much larger display. That's a pretty damn cool thing. Or maybe you just want to use it to play movies or something like that. This once again is not cheap. It's 99 bucks. I will link it down below as well, but it does diversify the usage of your device that you spent a bunch of money on. So now it can become an HTPC. That means home theater PC. So you can use it to stream your favorite content from your favorite sites. But that's not the coolest way I've seen this thing utilized. When I was in Vegas for CES this year at the Razer booth, they had this connected to the television along with the Razer Edge tablet and a USB Razer controller coming out of it, giving a console-like experience so you can play your PC games from the couch. You know, you can use Steam with their big picture setting and get a pretty unique experience that still is the holy grail of living room entertainment. On the back, you have three USB ports as well as an HDMI microphone in, headphone out, and a proprietary connector. These can also be utilized on a desktop. Say, for example, you want to get some work done. You know, you want to hook up a keyboard and mouse, or maybe you like to game with a keyboard and mouse. You can do that as well. That's fully up to you. It works just like any other PC that has USBs on it. It does seem like a weird way of achieving a mouse and keyboard gaming setup, but the whole point here is to give you a diverse experience that you can use in a number of different ways, whether it be the couch or or the desktop. There are obviously cheaper ways of doing this. You can get a desktop computer for a lot less and hook up a keyboard and mouse, but this device aims to give you a different answer to a number of different gaming scenarios, potential gaming scenarios. Anyway, guys, that wraps up this video. Stay tuned for the review on the complete system. You're not going to want to miss it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Thumbs up if you like this series so far, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later. No, 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 no.